Okay. So this is just a warmer. Um, um, it's gonna warm up the vesicle uh, in sleeve, and we can also use this to warm up um, this lipid extruder uh, like this uh, when we extrude vesicles. Um, we can see that later. Uh, right now we're gonna warm up the uh, the lipid solution. And here how to control this is you plug this in and you have set up. This is uh, set temperature and you can go up and down because the temperature, phase transition temperature for DMPC is 23. So I usually use 40. Okay. So I set it to 40 and then I set it to 40 and then I press both to activate. Yes, so you can insert that in. Good. It's frozen, right? It's, oh yeah, yeah it's, it's quite frozen. Quite frozen, yeah. I was so checking once, it to make sure it didn't crack. Yeah. Okay, let's warm this up and then do another cycles of freeze zone. So now we need to assemble the extruder. Uh, so first we get this filter support and we moisturize this with a little bit of water. So we need two pieces um, on each side. So we need four in total. Yeah, we get this. So this is two, one. So we need to make it wet. Four in total. Okay. Three, four? Yeah, four in total. Okay. And once they're wet, we can start to assemble the extruder. Um, so make sure the extruder go into the right order. Uh, this ring should be on the long side, I believe. And then this is one of the block, this is the other block we're gonna use. So we two, put two pieces. There, a support. And then we get a, a filter. So those are uh, spacers between the filter. The actual filter is this white plastic stuff and don't grab them in the center because you could break them. So just grab them on the side and make sure they're centered on this piece. And on the other side you put those two spacers to the other block and then what I do because it's wet so it can be if you push this a little bit it will be touched better and then I put that through this assembly and then put the other piece on and then you can screw them and one thing is just make them finger tight don't over tighten uh, if it's over tight, then uh, the O-ring gonna cannot hold very well. Yes. Okay. So once it's warmed up, I think we can start to extrude. Um, no, you don't have to point to me. Just point to this and make this thing thick. Yeah. So you start to extrude. Just push the side with uh, Lepison res resolution so the other side um, will come out uh, automatically um, if it's airtight so if you say it's there's some leakage from those aerial that means uh, it's not tight enough uh, it's not airtight and then you need to reassemble uh, everything And as you can see, uh, sometimes it's uh, you need use some force 
to to extrude it because uh, the lipid doesn't dissolve very well. Uh, I think in this case maybe the temperature is not warm enough. But once you do a few times, it's will getting better because uh, the unilaminar vesicle uh, can form. Can the filter be like? Yes, they can be blow up with a hole. So do this very gently. Um, they can be destroyed. Uh, you can blow a hole in the middle. And it's hard actually, it's hard to push sometimes. And then once everything on this side, and you can push on this side to get this uh, to the other side. And don't, don't extract, uh, extract syringe like this because that is not good. So uh, only use push motion. 